Hi, this is Miss Cindy from the Alexandria Museum of Art. In previous videos, we've talked about how artists create amazing works of art using the elements of art. Now, we are going to talk about the principles of art and design. The elements of art are the building blocks the artists use. And the principles of art and design describe how they use those building blocks. I'm going to show you how. A quick review of those elements of art. The elements of art are line, shape, form, value, color, texture, and space. Now that we've reviewed the elements of art, let's talk about those principles. The first principle is balance. Balance refers to how the weight in an artwork is distributed. If the weight and the elements on both sides of the artwork are exactly the same, that's called symmetrical balance. When balance is arranged from the center point of the artwork, that's called radial balance. Radial balance and symmetrical balance create a feeling of stability, but sometimes an artist uses asymmetrical balance. Asymmetrical balance is going to be slightly different on one side than the other. It can create a dynamic and interesting composition. The next principle is pattern. Pattern is the repetition of shapes, lines, and colors throughout a work of art. Artists use pattern to create areas of excitement and interest. Regular pattern is when the same exact shapes are used in the same exact pattern over and over again. Sometimes artists create patterns where the elements are not exactly the same. These are called irregular patterns, like those found in this painted water. Then there's movement. An artist uses movement to draw the viewer's eye through the work of art or to suggest actual movement. They can do this by using sweeping lines and repeating shapes, colors, and lines using contrasting colors and in many other ways. Artists can create drama, energy, and action in an artwork by using contrast. They can do this by using complementary colors in a painting that contrast like this red and green. It can also use contrasting values like the super dark darks and the light lights in this drawing. This artist uses contrasting textures. Notice the smooth texture of the egg and the rough texture of the rest of the piece. Artists use emphasis to draw your attention to the focus of the artwork. Here, the artists use lines that point to or converge on the main subject of the painting. Another way to emphasize the focal point of your painting is to isolate it or put it in a place all by itself, like this hummingbird, which is the focal point of the painting, how the hummingbird became the sun. Artists use unity to create a sense of wholeness or cohesion in a work of art. For example, this artist repeats the circle throughout the piece, but in a variety of sizes. This artist ties the work together by using similar colors, but she uses a variety of materials to create the work to keep it from becoming static and boring. If you look carefully at this piece, you'll notice that the artist uses the same texture all throughout the painting, but she uses a variety of patterns. Proportion refers to the size of the objects in a painting and how they relate to one another. Notice the houses in this painting. And as you look, you notice that the house in the background is much smaller than the house in the foreground. This is how the artist suggests the distance of that house from the others. This artist is trying to communicate the importance of the harvest. And so he's made this bowl of fruit very, very large. Stay tuned for more cool videos and fun art activities all about the principles of art and design. Until next time, you guys be kind to one another and y'all keep making stuff.